hi guys and welcome back to another video and thank you so much for taking your time to watch this I really appreciate it and can I just say a massive thank you to all of my new subscribers you guys are amazing welcome welcome to the clan and to my returning subscribers I love you all okay so I'm gonna be talking about the chase star mark le bet um, if you don't know what the chase is it's kind of like a game show basically I don't know if you have it in the US but in the UK they're just extremely intelligent people human beings and normal people going to contest against them and basically you have like a target amount so let's say 10k um, and you keep going so 1k 2k 3k 4k for example and the more you get the more questions you get right the more you get closer to your money but obviously these guys the the chase um the, the, these guys they are so clever so they have to basically get to that money before you and if they if they reach you then basically you're out of the game i hope i've explained it right but anyway he's 55 and his wife is 28 and he has split up with her because their open relationship has failed so i'm going to be telling you guys the details on that because when i came across this i was literally like Okay. Okay, bish bash bosh. I didn't even realize that his wife was that young, first of all. And secondly, I didn't even know that they had an open relationship. But let's have a look at the details on what has been written. The chase star, Mark Labette, aka The Beast, that's what he's known for. So he has called it quits with his wife after the pair's open relationship failed to work. Mark, who is 55, and Katie, who's 28, realized that their age difference, his mental health, and lockdown. Here comes our lockdown excuse again. Has all been contributing factors to the break of their seven year marriage. Mark has allegedly suggested that Katie should continue to date her secret lover. It has been revealed that Katie and her secret lover has been seeing each other for 18 months. It kind of sounds like he's probably he's got some insecurity there for him to suggest that he should continue to um she should continue to see her secret lover mark who shares a three-year-old son with katie admitted that he had a feeling that she was seeing scott but decided to approach things sensibly for the sake of their son oh man i'm just having a look at the comments someone was like the open marriage thing is a hundred percent a no from me 48 and 21 when they got married when did they start dating oh here we go the investigators was she underage oh uh, so someone says i feel for him man he's already suffering with mental health issues just adds that yeah i think that's why he's probably like you know what just see him like just do you sis do you because you know i don't know what type of mental health um he's suffering with but Someone says, isn't that his cousin? I don't know about that. I'm not going to confirm nor deny that here on my channel because I don't want it to be like, oh, be Ami said, or oh, be Ami said. Like, I don't know. Open relationships never work. What's the point of marriage if you want an open relationship? Anyways, it's another entanglement gone wrong. Exactly. Can somebody please tell me what is the point of marriage if you want an open relationship? How can you want an open relationship but yet want to be married? Marriage is supposed to be a sacred thing between one person and the other person. Two people, not three, not four, not five. Actually, let's say three with God, okay? God, you, and your spouse. Not, um, Sarah, Tom, Dodo, um, Yam. Like, do you get what I mean? Like, all of these people need to leave the equation. It really frustrates me how marriage has lost so much value in this day and age. It's so destructive. Like, it's more destructive than constructive. Like, there's nothing that's beneficial with taking away that 
that structure that marriage structure do you get what i mean like for me it's like if you don't want to get married then stay single but don't get married and then decide that you want to have an open marriage that that tells me that you don't know how to be selfless you don't know how to sacrifice you're too self-centered because marriage is all of these things marriage is a sacrifice marriage is you being selfless marriage is putting the other person um before you marriage is submitting yourself like all of these things that it's hard for humans to do it's intended for marriage that's why you shouldn't rush to get married because it's something that i feel like maybe it's something that's supernatural like maybe it's something that is intended to be blessed by god because when god blesses it that means that he has given you the grace to obtain it and to carry it and to to work at it because he knows how hard it's going to be okay let's continue to read the comments society has normalized divorce that hardly anyone will be shocked what happened to death do us part exactly and someone says man smart but wasn't smart enough to know that ain't gonna work out i mean do you think the age difference is a massive contribution to that because she's extremely young like i know people are getting married at young ages but like tw i feel like 28 you're kind of borderline switching over to that i want to settle down like i actually am ready like don't get me wrong there are some females i'm gonna speak specifically for females because i don't know about you men because you men we don't know we we just don't know you know you could be 40 and still acting like a 15 year old boy like or an 18 year old boy who's just discovered his hormone so i can't speak for you guys but for women i know that there are some women that are just that just have that natural mother wife instinct like do you know what i mean so they're just naturally maternal but for a lot of women it's not the case like for a lot of women they still want to party they still want to live their lives they still want to do all of that and maybe that was the case i don't know if that age difference is like way too young because number one if he's suffering with mental issues then he would be like and i don't mean to say this in a rude or disrespectful way but i mean like he would be a lot of work do you know what i mean like he would be hard work because people and i speak and i'm speaking from experience people who um have depression if you have a partner that is depressed or is emotionally un un unstable it's so hard to keep up sometimes and it's it can be so draining like if you are not fit or strong enough within yourself to deal with that it can be very jarring and very draining because you're constantly having to keep up so imagine working out all the time you're gonna get tired so that's just an emotional workout you know one minute you're up the next minute you're down then you're up then you're down then you're up and it's like you have to keep up and also there's a specific type of um way that you have to deal with that person which takes a lot of mental stress and mental strength so for a 28 year old who is blonde and beautiful you know to have to deal with that lifestyle i think that would be a lot on her and that's probably why they firstly agreed to have an open relationship because maybe he felt like he he you know he had somebody who loved him and he wanted to latch on to that because that was what was keeping him going but he kind of felt like he was holding her back so maybe he was like you know what okay let's have the open uh, marriage um so that you can you don't feel trapped but then he just couldn't take it because i'm pretty sure that it's quite painful to imagine your significant other or somebody that you dearly dearly love being with somebody else that's a lot to deal with guys somebody says what do these young women see in these old men money money is definitely one of them uh-uh i'm not gonna read out that comment so the rest of the comments is basically people talking about their age difference <laughs> um so which seems to be obviously an a, a problem because if they got married they obviously didn't get married at that age by the way they've been together for that long and people are trying to calculate when did they start dating anyways to me all of that doesn't matter all that matters to me is number one can somebody please explain to me what is the point of being married and having an open relationship number two 
take away the marriage what's the point of being in a relationship and then being in an open relate and making it open that doesn't make sense to me i can't fathom it i just cannot fathom being in an open relationship y'all I can't understand it. And number three, and number two, number three, whatever. Can somebody explain to me, like, is the age gap a really big difference? I mean, yeah, I think it's a massive um, contribution to the downfall of this. But it's never good news to hear divorce or separation or whatever. We will never know the ins and outs of the relationship. However, I think you can kind of see that this though you can kind of see that there was always something wrong with this in the first place um i do hope that he gets better and he can focus on his well-being and just getting himself together um this definitely would not help his mental health and yeah it's just it's awful this is this is this has got everything wrong like this has got every red flag in the book right now but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section thank you so much for taking time to watch this please do hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye